Hello, everybody. Alaska Fred. Oh, man. I really don't want to be here. <sighs> Sitting here at work, driving me nuts. Kind of twiddling the thumbs. So, I figure I might as well jump on here and see if I can piss somebody off. Nah, I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows? Maybe someone might actually like this video. <laughs> I don't know. But I have noticed, well, from what I, my thoughts here, I honestly believe that we're being, we're being conditioned. The human race is being conditioned for an alien takeover. Yep. Um, got it figured out. Um, yeah, you know, just, the alien, you know, there's aliens already here. Some of them look like us. Some are scary looking. I, mean, I, I said this in one of my other posts, I think. One of my other videos where I uh, popped off with a few people. I mean, hell, you got George Soros. If he ain't an alien, I don't know who is. Um, but no. I, you know, the way everything's going, they're trying to totally screw, uh, skew, screw the human race up to where we can't stop an alien invasion. And a lot of people, a lot of people here on Earth are extremely naive and extremely stupid. And they sit here, you know, or it's a money factor that falls on our line of extremely stupid. Uh, they take all this money from these uh, rich tycoons and whatnot and to get their agendas passed, which what they're doing is basically just uh, following in line with the aliens. It's what the aliens want. Screw everything up so when they come in and invade, they don't have much opposition. I think that's part of the reason why they're pushing to get rid of the Second Amendment. Chipping away at it every damn day. But, yeah, who knows? Maybe that could be true. But, yeah, I just, I don't know. Um, you hear the uh, uh, talk show host, uh, Alex Jones, talking about the elite. You know, the elites. Well, he says the elites. What that tells me in my head is that is, uh, you know, the elites and whatnot. That's the alien race. That's what it tells me in my head. And whatnot. I mean, he may be talking about something completely different, but that's what it tells me. So, I don't know. I could be so far off, uh, it could be pathetic. Or I could be right dead spot on. And why not? Um, you know, in the past, I don't think I've talked, you know, I didn't talk about this on any of my videos, but um, with my brother, I've talked about, um, you know, uh, you know, down, down in, uh, uh, the continental U.S., the low 48 states, because I'm up here in Alaska, but the low 48 states and whatnot, there you have uh, you have what's called Tornado Alley and whatnot. I came up with a hell of an idea, and it all—I mean, I can't—I can't prove it, and I'm pretty certain there's some scientists out there that would uh, disagree with me, which is fine. Uh, they have more information than I do. But that don't mean their information's right. But our media meteorologists want This is my idea. Okay, down in Tornado Alley and whatnot, they say you know they say these tornadoes and whatnot that you see that happen in that area are weather phenomena. You know, bad weather and whatnot, and 
Uh, they've come up with, you know, they've shown how it'll form a funnel and whatnot. Nah. My opinion here. Those tornadoes are alien spacecraft coming into the atmosphere. And what forms the funnel and, the tor and what makes the tornado is the reverse thruster to slow the uh, tornado down or slow to slow the alien spacecraft down as it's coming into the atmosphere and it why not it slows them down which in turn causes a funnel which in turn is what the tornado is so it does all this damage the smaller the tornado the smaller their or smaller the uh spacecraft that comes in makes sense and you know when they uh when they talk about that big you know the big f5 okay the big one that is a large spacecraft coming into the atmosphere and whatnot that is why it does so much damage when it hits that's my opinion and it kind of makes sense if you actually look at it um and whatnot you know so who knows I could be way, way, way off from the truth on this. Don't matter. I could also be dead spot on. Although the meteorologists and other scientists will be sitting here going, uh, you're, you are so far out of your league, you're pathetic. And of course, they went to school for four or six years on that to learn that stuff. And I'm just a high school graduate. That's all good. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, it just goes through my head. Um, but no, it would not surprise me if, like I said, if the tornadoes were created by spacecraft entering the atmosphere. And it wouldn't surprise me if <clears throat> all of the politicians and whatnot, uh, they're working for the elites, they're working to get all this stuff you know, are working for aliens to make screw the world up so they can come in and take it over unopposed. So, I don't know. Why don't you all tell me what you think? Um, love to read your comments. I mean, uh, you know, I get very few comments. I don't have very many subscribers right at this point in time. I could use some more. So, this is going to be the last year. I'm going to sign out saying, if you like the video, please hit the like button wherever it might be I don't know it's around here somewhere uh, you want to make a comment please do I love comments I will even respond back to your comments so uh, if you want to subscribe please do I could use some more subscribers and you know as my channel like it says on my channel it's whatever's on my mind at that point in time that's what I post so okay everybody uh, this is the last Fred signing out saying, keep your eye in the sky for those pesky aliens. They may show up at any time and whatnot. So, y'all have a good day. Bye, everybody.